We have a case in Westchester, a 50-year-old gentleman who uh, did not travel to any of the places that are on the quote-unquote watch list, did travel to Miami, uh, but that is not a place that uh, we have known that there's any cluster of coronavirus. Uh, and he has tested positive, lives in Westchester, works in Manhattan, uh, has been with his family in Westchester. So we are now going through possible connections, to track down possible connections, to find people. Um, his, uh, the SAR school in Riverdale closed, that is today, that's a school that one of the children attended. Uh, there may be some more schools that voluntarily closed just until they determine exactly uh, if there were children who might have exposed other children. Uh, because you have to now track back all of these situations. Our information is the gentleman had an underlying respiratory illness, and he is ill, and he is hospitalized. The real fact that's relevant is 80% of the people who get this virus will self-resolve. They may not even know they had the virus. It will be like a flu with mild symptoms. 20% could get ill. We are tracing back what we know is a 50-year-old male um, went into the Lawrence Hospital, uh, works in Manhattan, uh, is now in a, in a hospital in Manhattan. Uh, we don't know how he commuted into Manhattan. We're checking whether or not he took public transportation. Uh, where the children go to school, we're tracking that down also. Uh, the gentleman has tested positive. His children have to be tested. They may have been exposed. What school were they in? What classes? Uh, and track it back. You cannot contain the spread. You can slow it, you can limit it, but you can't contain it. You're going to see a spread. By the way, I said uh, two weeks ago, it's just a matter of time before we see our first case, then we saw our first case. I said yesterday, you will see a case of community spread. Here we are today, there's a case of community spread. I am telling you, it is inevitable 